Um, it's now the eighth of October, eighth uh, of December. Sorry, it's a Thursday. Um, I've just had the best two weeks of my life. Uh, Nick was here for two weeks, and um, he left to go home on Tuesday. <clears throat> And, um, like I said, it was the best two weeks of my life. It was, oh, Nick, he's been so wonderful, so, oh, I love him so much. <clears throat> the first, um, well, the, pretty much the, the last hour before he actually left, I just... Pretty much was just like sobbing and controlling on his shoulder because he wanted to leave. I don't know why I was so emotional, but I just miss him so much. Because that whole afternoon I was just so emotional, I couldn't stand myself, honestly. And then that night, I just felt so alone. Went to bed alone, and I felt so alone and empty. And it's like, well, what the hell do I do with myself? You know, it's like, what do I do? I'm here alone. Like, you know, what do I do? But, um, yeah. But these last couple of days, I've just been getting easier. You know, getting back into sort of get readjusting to be alone again. Because I live here in Brisbane and he lives in Melbourne. It's like, well, you know. It's like, well, it's like 1,700 kilometres away. 1,700 kilometres of loneliness to do with. But he's, he always Skype every night, you know. It's like, well, Skype every night and sort of for an hour every night, every evening. It's like, well, you know. And he loves me. I can tell he loves me. He tells me he loves me. I love him because he's really gorgeous. Oh, he's so beautiful and generous, honestly. Spoils me to pieces, honestly, he does. Because he's such like food and takes me, wants to take me places and things. And oh, the la his last trip up here, back in September, we went on a trip to Charleville for a few days. That was wonderful. I enjoyed the trip. Mm -hmm. And it was very romantic. Mm. Oh, it was very romantic. Mm. And of course, did this current trip up here just that this like this past couple of weeks. Oh my god, it was the best time of my life on the trip. I loved every moment of him being here. I, like, oh, I met him at the on this part. This just recent trip. This last one. I went into Roma Street Station in Brisbane to, to meet him there. I was, um, I took the last, the second to last train in to the station and I was there overnight at the station waiting for the first train to come in to platform two. I came in on platform eight and I was, and he came in on platform two. And so I was waiting there on the front steps of the station for four hours, waiting for him. Mm -hmm. That's how much I love this man, honestly. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we met him at the station because he didn't because he, he he came in to platform two at the station about four in the morning, and he didn't want to. To, to risk being alone at the station at that hour of the morning because he felt unsafe about that, the idea of that so which is why he wanted me to meet him there, there at Roman Street instead of up here at Caboolture so <clears throat> I met him there at Roman Street and um, we rode we rode the, the train back to Caboolture which was like, it was the express. So it was, instead of taking like 50 minutes, it only took, took like 40, or 35, 40 minutes. 
and sit there on the train watching the sun come up as we rode the train for home. It was rather romantic, watch the sun rise. Mm. Then when we got home, we got home and sort of unpacked everything and got a bit of, got a bit of kip and had some breakfast and everything. It was, oh, that first day was just wonderful. First couple of days were wonderful. And then he went on a trip down to Warwick for a few days. He left on the, on the Friday. So you come up here on the Wednesday. It was here the Wednesday and the Thursday. And then he left again on the Friday to go to Warwick. And it was there from the Friday, Saturday, and come back on the Sunday. And it was here from the Sunday until just this past Tuesday. So, oh, that time was just so wonderful. Mm. We, we talked, we ate, made love, honestly. Mm. The sex is wonderful, oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, <sighs> but, you know, he's, he's... I have this connection with him that is just so different to anyone else I've ever had. I've, you know, I mean, I've I had, I suppose I've had like only like one, one really serious boyfriend, and a few other guys that were just sort of like, well, yeah, he just did it a bit of dalliance, but that's about it. But I've never had. Never in my life have I had the connection with anyone that I do with Nick. He's so different to any other man I've ever met. I am in love with this man. I mean, completely, completely in love with this man. I love him. I'm in love with him. I think about him so much. I miss him so much. My first waking moment, my first waking thought in the morning is of him. And he's the last thing I think about when I go to bed at night, when I go to sleep at night. I love him so much. We have a connection. He tells me that he tells me that he feels safe with me. He tells me that he feels it's hard to explain. But I have this need so I have this urge to it's like he tells me that he has his anxieties and his fears of things and I just have this overwhelming desire, this need to to allay those anxieties, to allay those fears, make him feel safe and wanted and loved. I want him to feel that. I want him to feel the love that I feel for him. I want him to feel it. And if that means putting myself in a situation where I'm uncomfortable for so many hours on a train ride down to Melbourne, then I will do it. <clears throat> so that means, yet mean, yeah, I would be. Part of me would be hesitant about being so uncomfortable for that long, but I will do it because I love him. I did it Charlie Charleville because I loved him. And for a very long time on that the trip to and from Charleville, I was very uncomfortable. But I didn't say anything because I love him. <clears throat> I don't I love him. 
and I will do it. Mm. I will do it. So, okay, this is um, me signing off now. It's been a long 10 minute clip. So, in an effort to keep this as brief as possible, I am signing off now. Stay safe, love well, and share the love, people. Share the love. That's my lesson for the day. Share the love.